Hey guys, um, I'm going to make a short video here, um, try to keep it real short, so I'm going to kind of dive right into it, but um, it's about both. It's about the firestorm that's coming to America, August 11th through September 11th, 2020. So, but this is just, you know, I'm just a watchman, directional, um, so this is, this is what I've got, and I want to talk about today there's gonna to be a continuation of these what do we bring into the table what are you offering the offering that he wants is us guys we're his body Jesus Christ in you the hope of glory but he wants us without spot blemish or wrinkle a pure clean bride and so this fire that's coming is going to be a purification but Here's the part about the table, and then I'm going to try to make this real brief. This was out of Genesis 1. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering, but he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry, and his countenance fell. So the Lord said, Why are you so angry? Why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not well, sin lies at the door. And its desire is for you. But you should, not, you should rule over it. So... What do we bring into the table, guys? Unfortunately, America, church, world, the whole bit, everything's been monetized. It's not money, guys. I'm talking about he wants you, his vessel, pure, clean. So, and me too. Guys, I got to do the same thing, okay? I am not the finger pointing guy here. I'm not the abrasive preacher. I'm not trying to give false humility either and try to win your votes. I'm not running for president. I'm not trying to get likes on Facebook, YouTube. You know, look at this video. It's kind of lame, guys, okay, honestly. I really need some help. Just me. I'm using what I got. But it's a whole other message. But what, what are you bringing to the table, guys? Or is there sin, hidden sin, lying there? He wants to go to the deepest, darkest place. That's the whole thing of Jesus. He wants to go to those deepest, darkest places in our lives where we won't even go. Guys, some of us, many people all the time, a lot of people are in counseling and all kinds of stuff for stuff that happened for 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago. As children. Because there's sin there. Sometimes we bury it, hide it. Hiding in plain sight, I call it, but... Um, me too. I got a couple issues. One I created, one others created, but more than anything, but they both affected me badly. And I got to clean them up. It's kind of messy and ugly. Very ugly. So I got the same thing, guys. But that's what this time frame is. That's why I'm saying this now. That's why it's heavy to bring this out now. It's because it's time to, to purge. It's a purging fire. That was the fire, okay? I'm going to break that down, and then I'm going to break down the rest of this, of what are we bringing to the table. Because they correlate. This fire that I saw, watch the video, it's, it's a storm coming to America, and with those dates, August 8th, August 11th, through September 11th, um, 2020. I even got the year, so... Not to sensationalize any of it or anything. It's just, it, there was several of them. I'm still putting them together. A little bit scattered. I'm working on them. The, uh, what I saw in the fire was a purity in the center. White, pure. Then I saw the center flames were br br blood red. Red. Then the top was like a yellow, but like not pure gold yellow, but more like a kind of a 
not really dingy, and that's not the right word either for it. Not even really brown, but it's hard to explain, but it wasn't wasn't brilliant yellow. It was just and but I got that got the scriptures to go along with some of that. So the inside part, the purity, and then I saw it, it was a white light. He wants us to be the light of the world, guys. That city that's set upon a hill, but he's purifying us. He wants that pure, clean bride without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. So we can come to God with the offerings. But he's going to accept or reject it based upon what's in our heart, where it's coming from. Not us that he's rejecting, guys. That's the whole point of Jesus. But he's giving us an opportunity to clean up our act. The flames, blood red, washed and redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Sins forgiven, washed away. But we got to bring them to him first. That's this process is the cleaning, that's the purging, that's the purging of this fire. Pure to make us pure and holy and clean. And then the top was yellow like a brass, but it would, that's what I saw, it was like a brass. And then in Revelations, I believe it's, I forget which one it is, I think it's four, but um, you can look it up. I'm sorry I didn't about his feet would be as brass. His voice is thunder and lightning. But that's so we can walk through these trials in the purging fire. So that's part about the fire. I'm not done with the fire yet. I'm still going to break it down, but I do want to keep these videos short so that you guys can tune into all of them and just kind of watch them in conjunction with each other. I'm going to start putting them, quite a few of them out. So, he did not respect Cain and his offering, and Cain was very angry, and his countenance fell. God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost could see through our mess, guys. Nothing hidden from him. So, it's just time to get it out in the open. But I'm not talking about the exposure that the world has. He's There's two exposures. It's not Exposure might not even be the right word. But the world is like, man, you're a dirty dog. You just pooped on the floor and rub your nose in it. And, it's, and the enemy, there's a saying that's out there. The devil knows... Your name but calls you by your sin. And God knows your your sin but calls you by your name. So, you know, that's kind of the world exposure. But it's coming from the devil himself. But Jesus, I mean, all throughout the Bible. Rise up and walk, your sins be forgiven. Um, the woman that was caught in adultery. Everybody wanted to beat her to death. Stone her. That was what the law said. That was man. That was exposure. You know, she got caught. She, yeah, she was dirty. Of course, pick one. Sin's dirty. All of them are dirty. Not just adultery. Lying on your taxes is dirty. Whatever, you know. Pick, pick one. Big, small, great. There's none. They're all dirty. And that's what I'm saying, you know. That's why I'm saying I'm not guilt-free here, guys. I'm just like you. i got to do the same thing. i am you know, got to examine myself pretty thoroughly. So... What are we bringing to the table? So, it wasn't the rejection of that. It was the rejection of sin. But, the good news of this is the very end of it, even though it doesn't seem like it's good news, because it got rejected from the Lord because of the sin that was in his door. This phone's been driving me nuts, guys. You know I got on silent. Um... Sin lies at the door, and its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. So there's, you know, where the purring fire comes in, guys. It's yeah, it, it might even hurt some people, honestly, but it's going to get rid of all these idols that we built up. The self being the worst one, honestly. A lot of this other stuff swirls and twirls and circles around all that.
Because God wants you for himself. He wants to walk with you in the cool of the day. He mm -hmm. wants you back, guys. And so it's a purging, a cleansing time. What are you bringing to the table? Examine it. Get it prepared. Turn it upside down, inside out, twist it, whatever. I'm not talking about that you have to go to 19 different counselors either. There's been but one counselor, the wonderful counselor. Take it to God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. Go to it in secret prayer. Some of the stuff that we, you know, some of the stuff may not have to come out, guys, in public. It may not be a public, public wiring squad and stone you to death. It might be just you and God and Jesus and the Holy Ghost and His Word in your secret place. If you let Him. But that's where the choice comes in. That's what that's going to be, this purging fire. It's going to be time to choose, guys. And it's, you know, yeah, it might seem kind of a little bit, maybe even harsh, kind of, you know, that there's a fire. But it's unto something. It's so that sin doesn't take us over, so that we rule over the sin. That's the good news, guys. So really, I love you guys. Um, you can tune in. You can just Google us at Jesus is Alive in America. Um, we'll come up. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Blog with us. You want to blog on a certain page? I got a web page. A little lame too, guys, but I'm trying not to be. But I'm working on it. My computer skills are lacking. Um, but it's at JesusIsAliveInAmerica.com. Uh, and it's, you know, maybe you help me weed through it if you're a computer guy. How oh, the best way to blog, but that's kind of what I'm starting with. And then the other one is JesusIsAliveInAmerica at gmail.com. And you can just email us directly at that. Um, you've got a couple books out on Amazon. One is called Jesus, Christ, and You, the Hope of Glory. And the other one's called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. Kindle, Amazon. I can send you an email copy of it if you just want to get a free copy. I uh, already got it on there. I'll just give me your email address. I won't keep any of that stuff. I know spam. And I send you, I'm not asking for nothing. I'm not asking for an offering, nothing. I mean, I'm not even populating a list. For one, I'm technically illiterate, probably, and can't do it. But two, I'm just, this is not my heart. Now I'm doing it. But I am wanting to connect with people. So that's going to be another message. Just look that one up too. But just, you know, help us share this stuff with us. Pray for us, if nothing else. I'll take all the prayer you can give me. So anyhow, we love you guys. Um, talk to you soon. Um, just, like I said, comment, share. Please share these with others. If you like them. So just kind of watch some of the other ones too. It'll give you a, a, a real flavor for my heart. But back to the what I said at the beginning, what are you bringing to the table? Is there sin? Lying at the door? Are our hands pure? Who, well, I forget how that scripture goes. He, who can enter, who can climb the mountain? He that has pure, pure heart and holy hands, um, something to that effect. Um, you know, you guys can correct that if you want. On the comment section or whatever but so we love you guys um talk to you soon and have a great wonderful day and i got some more videos coming um or like i said just look us up see you soon